Last episode, Khaleesi was successful in regaining the trust of her people and will remain the Queen of Marine. This episode shows how and why she constructs the members of her council. The first decision that must be made is which organizational structure would best fit her reign. Considering she is in charge of the Seven Kingdoms, the best fit for her structure is to optimize the usage of the geographical structure. In doing so, she appoints six members, one to be in charge of each kingdom. Having these members placed in charge of each kingdom will enable her to look over all the seven kingdoms and make the necessary decisions using this centralized organization. This will also in place a direct line of authority. It will allow her rulers to set forth who they see fit and for them to report straight back to them. The Khaleesi also fully expects her rulers to report directly back to herself. The first ruler that she emplaces is Cersei Lannister. The Khaleesi appreciates Cersei's tenacious, courageous, manipulative, and ambitious personality. Although she can be cruel and irrational at times, Cersei is an excellent choice for this line of authority and is placed as the CEO. Toman Baranthian is the next member that is appointed. This decision was made because of the values that Baranthian holds. Although he can be gullible and is blinded by his love, his holiness, justice, and strength are great assets in order to be the ruler of a kingdom. Third member chosen will be Marjorie Tyrell. She has strong-minded, driven, likable, and a very charitable personality. Although she is completely loyal to the house Tyrell, Marjorie is simply the most qualified for the position of this kingdom. Next will be the High Sparrow. The High Sparrow is set to be the ruler of the Sparrows because his ambitious yet humble and wise demeanor. Khaleesi must make sure to watch this kingdom rather closely because he does have a habit of being ruthless and fanatical in his own beliefs. Sir Loras Tyrell will be the next member appointed because of his kind, passionate nature along with his skill set as a warrior. He must also be watched closely, however, as he has been known to give some false information in the past and has a considerable lack of discretion. The last appointed member for ruling will be Elena Tyrell. She, is, she has sharp wits, she is cunning, she's religious and extremely intelligent. She does have some weaknesses, however. Sometimes she is a little outspoken when unnecessary and can be particularly vengeful. With all the members in order and rulers established over the seven kingdoms, she has her formalization put together very well and has set up a good direct organizational structure and will be able to help maintain control over her seven kingdoms.